Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, council has moved to adopt the general vote, but to keep the wards solely to avoid an appeal to the Interim Municipal Board. They do not want to go to the OMB because they fear their case there would be indefensible. If council members were confident that their case for the general vote could be defended at the OMB, they would surely want to go there to prove to the people that what they are doing is best for the city and not just best for the politicians. Wouldn't they? You bet they would. If they thought that they could get a ruling supporting their position, they would certainly want to have the independent and objective interim municipal board reaffirm their plans in light of all of the controversy and debate the change has sparked. While council plan plans on keeping the wards, they will not be used for voting or for any real purpose. The votes group still plans to appeal to the Ontario Municipal Board, arguing that wards are associated with voting by practice and tradition in Ontario and in Oshawa since 1985, and therefore insist that the seven election wards are being folded into one ward for voting purposes. We will argue that this is functionally a change in wards that is appealable to the Interim Municipal Board. Two additional grounds of appeal, however, have been developed, but cannot be released until the city bylaw is passed and we are ready to appeal to the Interim Municipal Board. If we release the information early, the politicians in their greedy and self-serving efforts to move to the general vote will simply try to word a bylaw to thwart our efforts. We think this is impossible, but still do not want to disclose our case and our arguments prematurely. We do, however, want to assure the Oshawa public that we do believe we can preserve ward voting for Oshawa. Thank you so much.